Hello folks, if you're watching this video it's because you have one of these units or you're having some issues with it. Um, well, uh, for the past three days um, I'm having some error codes and I have no hot water or heating whatsoever. And the error code keeps coming and I, uh, I kept uh, resetting it. There's a button right here where it says reset so what I was doing I kept pressing it and um, it would work the for maybe half hour one hour sometimes two hours then the error code would come back and nothing happens no hot water no heating again so um, I went to the users information manual okay this particular uh, model uh, is NCB 180 as you can see, there's other versions, uh, models over there, um, but mine is NCB 180. So I want to make a quick video because uh, I was able to fix this problem, all the three codes, with one quick fix, though it took me uh, three days to figure it out. Okay, so I I want to help somebody out there. Maybe you're having the same issue. So. Uh, nobody's filming me. I'm recording with the iPhone, so so bear with me because sometimes I'm gonna put my phone down so I can take that cover out. It's already I already took the screw out, but I want to show you what I did step by step and uh, what I did to fix it. So on your user's uh, information manual, if you go to the page 22, it says troubleshooting and understanding error codes so I was getting like I said the three codes which is these three here E351 E352 and E353 and all of them has to do with the abnormal uh, some type of water pressure and this first day it gave, it gave me the E351 second day E352 and the third day which is yesterday and today it was still showing um, E353 which it has to do with the water pressure sensor so if you come to this next section right here okay it will say contact uh, technical support and there's a the number um, so I did that the first day and they wouldn't talk to me because they said uh, uh, you, you need to get the plumber in, in there for us to talk with because they wouldn't send you the parts and why I'm saying that because uh, usually it comes with a five years warranty on the parts and 10 years warranty for the for the unit itself that's what Navian um, gives you and this unit uh, it was uh, you know mounted on the wall here uh, on 2015 so I'm still good we're in 2019 uh, so four years in a couple of months because it was installed on I believe in October 2015 okay so let's let's uh, let me show you what I did so uh, like I said the screw I already took the screw out but if you want to do it it's it has one screw right here the other one right there at the top and if you come in the bottom same thing so a total it has four screws so I took that out already so I'm gonna remove this cover show you what's inside Okay, let me put this cover away for a second. Okay. So, you see this, this guy right here? That's your water pressure sensor. So this is a new one that uh, that's, you know, that I put it in this morning. But uh, let me show you the old one that I removed and I replaced it with this one. So this is the one that came with it. Probably was clogged and it has some impurities inside or... Okay. It's been four years anyway, so maybe um, it was messed up. So that's the old one that I took out and I put this new one. And... You might ask, but where, where, where would I get that part? Um, so I went to the local heating and plumbing supply, and I told them the model and the, uh, the 
the, the, the boiler thing, which is a Navien, and they had it. And here it is. So, and it cost me about, is the regular price is $37.95, and with the tax it came to $40.32. Okay, and this is where I got it. Actually, that's not where I got it, because that's in New Bedford, but uh, this is where I got it. South Shore Supply Inc. Uh, here in Brockton, Massachusetts. And they have those parts in there. Okay? So, what will you need to do to replace it? So, first things first, you need to shit the water that goes into your uh, unit off. Okay? And in the bottom here, it's this pipe right here. It says um, domestic water inlet. Okay. So you just come right there and shut that water, uh, the water in that goes in. Okay. Because you don't want to get any water inside. Whatever is inside already the system, you will drain it out. And so shut the power off. I know if it has the arrow code, it won't let you. Uh, it won't let you um, uh, shut it down. So you have to reset it. Then you shut it down. Okay. And me, my per. This is personally okay. Um, I like to unplug it just for safety reasons. And this is where you're gonna drain it out. Actually, it has this little sticker here. This pump drain plug. You just, you know, twist it and and pull it down and the water will will come down and use a, a bucket I got this from Lowe's but you can use any bucket you just put it right there and let the, all the water that's already in the system comes out of, uh, of that drain okay then you just put that that cap back on and you would have come right here okay and you want to make sure you put a, a, some sort of cloth around you know, underneath it so you don't want any water come out of this going you know going on your electronics because it will mess it up put some sort of clot like I said right there and you just kind of twist it take that remove that old one and right here there's this ending part right here that's where you kind of push it towards the side and pull it and it's the same thing when you want to connect it you just plug it right through it, okay, right in. And you just kind of twist it and boom. I did that this morning. And after I put the new one, new water sensor, new water pressure sensor in, um, then I, uh, I put that cover in, uh, plug it back in. Um, Turn the system on, bring that water that was on off mode and you know, open it up. Then you will see some messages. It will take air uh, and you will see the pressure, the PSI going up. Then you should be fine. Now it worked, it worked out for me and uh, the problem is fixed. I have heating, I have uh, hot water constantly. All right, guys. Hope, hopefully, this helped you. And if you have any question and any step that I um, you didn't quite understand with my broken uh, broken English, uh, let me know. <laughs> Stay safe.